What you doing, watermelons? I am so excited right now because, okay, so, gosh, I don't even know where to start. Um, last night, I drove past this uh, man that had a sign that just said hungry. And so I stopped, he had a dog. Um, he was off the freeway. Um, I'll go into more detail in like the next clip um, because I'm gonna actually uh, get footage of him. I got permission, he is totally cool with it. Um, and his dog does like those cool tricks. So yeah, you guys will get to see that as well. Um, sweet, sweet man. I hung out with him last night. So you'll see last night, it was Friday. So Friday night, I hung out with him for three hours, three full hours. If anything, maybe just a little bit longer <laughs> um, till 10 o'clock last night. Uh, sitting on the freeway. I was just sitting on the ground and we were just having a conversation. We were talking, we were hanging out. Um, and he, not on drugs, not on alcohol. He is 70 years old and one of the most awesome people I have ever met. Um, so I am actually going to go back and check on him. I told him that I would. Um, he was off the freeway. I offered to help him carry his stuff to a safer location, but he was already set up and um, he wasn't wanting to move because it was so late. And he said, you know, if I have to move, the cops will just make me. So I was like, okay, well, um, I will definitely be back tomorrow to check on you. And I'm, he doesn't really know this, but I'm bringing him some stuff. Uh, yesterday I did give him a pair of socks, just some socks that I had in here. They were brand new. Um, I bought myself um, some like thicker, bigger socks just because I wear boots all the time and I needed some it's starting to get a little cooler. Um, and so I had an extra pair that I gave him and I was like, I know they're women's, they don't look like women's, they look like unisex really, but I was like, I, I hope they fit, but it's all I have. He's like, I'll make them fit. <laughs> so I felt bad. So I went ahead and I got him some socks. Uh, they're thick, they're long, they're gonna hopefully keep him warm at night. Um, I got him some granola bars. Now his dog, Jojo, what's funny, he said that he only will eat oatmeal. He will not eat dog food. He won't eat anything else. He'll only eat oatmeal. So I got him a bag of oatmeal um, and a dog bone because I mean, he's a pup. He needs a dog bone. You know what I'm saying? Um, and some bath wipes. Now, these are pretty awesome. I just get these at the, the 99 cent store, but they're really good because I myself use these in between showers. Now, it's not feasible to shower every single day when you live in your car. Um, I don't go to the gym every single day. And so in between showers, I will wipe myself down with these bath wipes. And they're really nice. Um, they keep me clean, feeling clean, refreshed, and he did tell me that it had been a while since he showered, so I'm going to give him a couple packets of these, and hopefully that'll make him feel a little better until he's able to get to an area where he's able to shower. And also, <laughs> um, he does smoke pot a little bit, just like whenever it's given to him, and he said last night that he did have some herb. Uh, he asked if I had a pipe on me that he could use to maybe smoke it, and I didn't. I don't carry a pipe on me, um, but I did have half of a XL blunt that I've had for, I don't know, maybe a month or so. <laughs> um, I've had it in my car. It's been in like this glass tube. It's not totally fresh, but it's not completely dried out either, and I gave it to him, and he smoked it. He loved it. But since he does have his own herb, I went ahead and got him. It's wrapped up. But I got him a little pipe so he could smoke it. Um, I know I know I'm going to get hate for this. I know I'm going to get a lot of ugly comments. I don't care. I don't see anything wrong with herb. I, if, if, you, if that's something that you feel like helps you, then all the power to you. There's nothing wrong with it. And if it's, it's going to help him take the edge off of his circumstances, then hey. I'm gonna do what I can to help. So he's got a new pipe as well. Um, and then of course a big jug of water. And I believe that is everything. So yeah, I'm gonna go uh, check on him and hang out for a bit, get some footage. And yeah, I just wanna let you guys know what's going on. I'm super excited. Um, it was the most fulfilling and just beautiful experience. Like. 
he couldn't believe that I was just sitting there talking with him. And the poor guy, he just kept saying like, I'm just trying to think of more things to say. And, Cause he didn't want me to leave. He loves companionship. Like what person on the streets wouldn't want somebody to just smile at them and just hang out for a minute, have a conversation. I mean, he told me that was one of the, the worst things for me to hear is when he told me that the hardest part about it is how he gets treated how people look at him, the things that people say to him. Um, and for him to sit down and just talk with somebody who doesn't think he's crazy, it meant everything to him. So, you know, it really puts things into perspective. And I hope that this video will help you guys understand that these people on the streets that we may like turn our noses up to or just keep walking or, or pretend like we don't see, they are human beings just like we are and they have hearts and they have minds and they love and they care and they are just, they're human beings, man. Like treat them as human beings. That is all I'm saying. Okay, I'm done ranting. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, drink my protein shake and we're gonna go find a Donald. That's his name, Donald. And his dog's name is Jojo. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go see him. I'm going to go see my friend. All right, Mwah. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, so I have been driving around for about 45 minutes now trying to find Donald and I can't find him anywhere um, I've gone northbound and southbound from the area that he was yesterday and he said that he would be here around here um, I checked into three different campsites and that area and I didn't and one one the one that he told me he was gonna go down to I checked it twice and I didn't I haven't seen him or his bike or his dog uh, but he couldn't have gone far I, I pray that nothing happened to him I'm gonna keep looking there's it's a Saturday, so there's a lot of people, a lot of surfers, a lot of people on their bikes, so it's kind of harder to spot him versus like on a regular weekday when there's not such a big crowd. I've looked on the beaches and I just don't see him anywhere. I don't, unless he's like in the bushes on the other side of the railroad tracks, I don't really know where else to look. This sucks, I just really hope he's okay. Yeah, 
sleep with his new girlfriend. Yeah. Oh. Sweet boy. He just wants to yeah. relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't happening. Come on, Come on, Jojo. Come He's like, oh man. Can I just chill? No, 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 no. If you're watching, you drive the board. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're being a daredevil. <laughs> He's trying to level up on his skills. <laughs> I seen him get on the board, pedal it, go down, and then make a really fast. Really? Fast. Get out of the field, get that. That's cool. You're a cool dog, Jojo. Yeah, you know, now he's getting old. I don't practice as much with him as, but I never did really practice him. But I, I, I used to get out there a little bit more. Yeah. And you know, let him um, um, practice on the board. You know what I mean? See, but what I like about my life, then every morning or every day, two or three times a day, one time a day, I can make a hundred people smile within thirty minutes. You know? You know? I mean, that's yeah. that's what I like about you know. <laughs> He's going back to the water. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, that's what I like about this. You know? Everybody just sit there and, and, and look, you know, um, I kind of like, you know, when the dog does his thing, it's kind of like they forget about it. I'm sitting down there with the sign, with the hungry sign. Yeah. Yet. You know, they forget, I, I become more human to them. Yeah. You know, unbelievable. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back here where Donald was. Um, his bed is here. But I don't see Donald. Maybe he's on the other side of the tracks. Oh, it's getting chillier out here. I think I'm going, oh, you know what? I have. Oh yeah, this is uh, how my trunk looks like. It's literally just a laundry basket. Um, I got some stuff shoved back there. There's my lunch box and I just pull my laundry out of here, whatever I don't keep in my back seat, like up by that window, um, my back windshield. So what was I doing? Oh, I have this hoodie. It's like double XL or it's extra large. So I know it'll fit him. So we're going to give that to him. It's a nice, really nice thick hoodie. And because it has the logo of my old job on there, I don't really need to be wearing it anymore. sign of no sign of Donald um, can't really see I don't want to shine the light on all his stuff right now because uh, Jojo he is very very protective and I don't want him like running after me <laughs> uh, he won't let anybody near um, his food or his owner's food or really like you have to build trust with him and actually um Donald told me that Jojo doesn't let anybody touch him or pet him or he just doesn't he's just a very protective and loyal dog um but Jojo warmed up to me and he was just hugging on me and oh he just couldn't like he was making me pet him more it was the cutest thing ever but I am, I'm actually going to turn on my car lights so that he knows I'm here and I'm not just some random person walking around his stuff. So we're going to do that. Oh, there he is. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, Donald. Say what? No, don't be sorry. Oh, hey, Bubba. You recognized my voice, didn't you? <laughs> Good. I am so mad at myself. I got some footage. A little bit, but not what I wanted to get. Um, uh, there were so many amazing moments and so many things that were said that I wish I would have gotten recorded. I thought I was recording and then when I looked at my phone afterwards, I was like, are you serious? And I know to a lot of people, it's like, well, if it's not recorded, did it even happen? So like, but whatever, I got to experience it and those moments will be in my heart forever. When I gave him the the hoodie, his reaction was just priceless. He was so, he was like, oh man. He's like, I just got out of the shower and I'm cold and this thing is so thick and warm. And he was just like so excited that he had a nice thick warm jacket. I was so glad that I had that still cause like every time I go to the laundromat, I leave clothes behind. Um, I'll just like put them in a bag and I'll put like free clothes, God bless, whatever. Um, because a lot of homeless people will go in there and like use the sinks and stuff or pick up clothes that people leave behind. So I'll intentionally leave clothes that I no longer wear uh, there for those people. That hoodie I was just happened to be something that I haven't given away yet. And it's just little things like that, you know, that always seem to come together. And Donald even said the same thing. He's like, man, he's like, it's crazy how things just have come together the last couple days and how things have worked out. It okay, okay, well, I can't back up anymore. Is it really that important that you get a, you can't walk just a couple extra feet? I swear, the things that people do to get a spot, a parking spot, just like 
a few feet closer to the door of the store is just, <laughs> it's amazing. I will intentionally park far out just to get a little more exercise. But anyways, but yeah, me and Donald, <laughs> he was, he was like a, kind of like a grandpa in a way. He, you know, was giving me little life tips and uh, sharing his experiences, which man is not of a typical person. I'll tell you that this man has been through so much from Jesus, he's, he's been shot at, he's been robbed, he's been hit by a car. It actually just, I think it was like a week ago is what he said, that he got hit, him and his dog. Um, and they went flying in the air and he's still recovering. His shoulder is like sore and I'm like blown away that this man is still alive after everything he's gone through. I charged up his phone last night in my car while we were talking. So he's fully charged. Uh, for a little while uh, he's gonna be he told me he's gonna stay like in that area for probably like the next month or so and um, I'm always driving up and down the coast so I am gonna make it a point to check on him I have his phone number he has my phone number so yeah we'll uh, we'll definitely keep in touch and I'm, I'm gonna make sure that they have what they need anyways I just wanted to share that I'm um, sorry my recording skills suck right now. It's It was like, when you're in the moment of something, it's, I never want to just sit there on my phone and try to get like the camera going or my recording app going because it's like they're talking to you and I, I don't want to seem rude, you know what I mean? I just want to let them talk and know that I'm here listening and not be fumbling with my phone. It was dark. There's no way I could have really gotten his story from him last night anyways. Um, so I was just like, well, to hell with it. We'll just kick it. But yeah, anyways. Okay, so I'm done talking. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Oh, it's bright. I love you. Mwah.